Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the TGM7 resin from Amera Labs. Alright, let's get into it. So first let's talk about the bottle. Now resin coming in a plastic bottle is really nothing new, but this bottle definitely does feel a lot sturdier than most of the other bottles that I've gotten, the, at least the plastic bottles. So just the, the general weight of it, and especially that lid, it has a rubber gasket inside, it fits down and seals really well. Everything about it just feels like it's really premium and quality made, which I appreciate a lot. Um, additionally, I also really like that they included some nitrile gloves. Um, and in general, I just kind of like some of the imagery on the box. It just really, it feels like it's trying to inspire uh, just imaginative, just sort of crafting and making in general. So all in all, really, really impressed with the bottle in the box. So as with every resin that I test, I started out with a UV tools range finder. And as you can see on the left here, I did a pretty generic range. I started at 2.25, increasing in increments of five seconds up to 4.75. And this was way overexposed. So definitely um, kind of surprised that this, even though it's a more durable resin, is going to require so much less exposure than most of the other resins that I test. Most resins are typically for me in the two seconds to 2.75 seconds. So this, this was kind of surprising. So then I jumped over on the right here and you can see that I did a much lower range uh, with a much more narrow um, set of parameters. So it was in 2.25 second increments and I started at 1.5 and went up to 2.25. And you can see that it's kind of a toss up between 1.75 and two. So I thought just as a test, I would try at 1.75. And then here's the printing info and result of that test. And as you can see, the details came out really clean. This is some of the best resin that I've used. Honestly, these, these details, even the little strands of hair on his beard, the, uh, the detail on the staff, the pipe in his mouth, everything is super clean and detailed. I was extremely impressed. So there's test number one. And each time I'm dropping these, I'm dropping them from about a foot higher. So I started at about two feet and then three feet. And then by this last test, I was dropping it from the ceiling. And then it also fell off the table onto the floor. So there's technically five drop tests and I can't find any damage on it at all. So after those tests were done, there was no signs of scuffs, no blemishes, nothing on it at all. There was no weak points. I was extremely uh, impressed just in its durability and its ability to just bounce off of everything and not take any damage. So now naturally we have to see if we can break it. So I started off by bending the staff back to his face to see if I could get it to break uh, in that direction, which most resins uh, that I've tested so far have not been able to withstand that. They usually break just at this point. This one bent with relative difficulty. And then uh, I think if I would have let it go, it would have continued to move back to its uh, starting position. But I kind of bent it back to just to see how strong it was after I pushed it in that direction. So I bent it back the opposite direction and it was still really strong like you can see uh, i'm actually having to pull on it pretty hard um, and it bent back into place that it uh, that it started at so i was just kind of helping it go back and again like still really strong still holding up really well i am convinced that you could drop this off of just about anything and it would be fine and this is a small model these are 28 millimeter models by the way so they're they're really thin and very fragile and i'm already kind of blown away by the durability of this stuff but I wanted to see if I could bend it far enough to get it to break and just to see how far that would be. So you can see here, I'm bending it extremely far and seeing just how far it can go before it breaks. And I got it to bend to 90 degrees without it breaking. And again, I think if I let it go long enough, it probably would go back to its resting position. But again, I wanted to see just how far I could go to see if it would actually break. So. I pushed it back up and this is when it starts to feel a little bit weak. So bending it in one direction, then bending it back again, it's starting to feel a little bit more weak. I still think that would hold up, but I wanted to see if I could get it to break. So I started bending it down pretty far and eventually past 90 degrees is when it broke. So this stuff can bend 90 degrees multiple times and then it's, it'll start to weaken and get to the point that it'll break, which is just ridiculously impressive. Like I can't, I can't explain uh, compared to every other resin that I've tested. I think the, the average for most resins is like a five degree bend before it just snaps like glass. It just shatters. And again, this is, there's 90 degrees 
and it still feels plenty strong. Like I'm, I'm not to the point that this is starting to feel weak, that I feel like it's giving the material starting to lose its integrity. Uh, I actually, I was trying to see how far I could go first without it breaking. So 90 degrees and then past 90 degrees is when it actually breaks. So this stuff will bend to a 90 degree angle and still have durability and strength. So it makes sense that Amerilabs is calling this their, their tabletop resin because it has everything you would want for tabletop miniatures. It's got extreme durability, it holds detail incredibly well, and I found it overall to be really easy to print with. So all in all, I'm blown away that they were able to combine so many really great elements into one product. The only downside that I can find is that the price is a little high. So it's about $95 for a bottle, which is definitely a, a bit above most other products that you'll find. Uh, but honestly, I don't know of any other product that'll perform quite at this level with the ease of printing and the detail and the durability and everything. It's kind of all in one package. So it is a bit of a higher price tag, but you definitely get a product that feels a lot more premium. So I kind of think that it's worth it. I do think maybe it could come down a little bit in price, but overall, I definitely think that it's an investment and you'll be happy with what you get because if you're printing models that you want to you know, maybe take with you to different games, or if you're doing competitions with a paint model or something, a uh, painted model, the, you're definitely going to want something that can withstand, uh, you know, a long trip or being dropped or things like that. And this will definitely do that. So if you're thinking about getting some of this, I definitely recommend giving it a shot because I was blown away by pretty much every aspect of it. As always, I want to thank the printing goes ever on for letting me destroy their beautiful models in the name of science. And that brings us to the end of this review. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work I'm doing here and you want to support my channel, you can find my Patreon information down below. All right, let's go print something.